and they're very well actors, you feel that it really makes you feel emotional about realizing that how life sometimes could be tough, dangerous places to survive, and especially for older people. That's why it was a touchy, actually, scene. Do you know anything, you may not know the answer to this, but do you know anything about the filmmaker's decision only to kind of hint at the homeless man's background, but not to delve into it any further? I mean, we could tell that he, you know, was educated in Shakespeare and, and, you know, plays, but we didn't really learn much beyond him being the fortune teller. The scene was about, you know, just a homeless person, right? So, as you were aware of it, he was really educated person. He used to have a, a bookstore that actually he was working. What happens, I guess, he loses that business and, and then he ends up on the street that he's trying to actually make money through that fortune, the thing that he had it. Uh, but he didn't get into more details about it, but we were able to figure that out. The comments he was making about Shakespeare, comparing the, those officers who were making comments about the Shakespeare. So he was a very knowledgeable person, um, especially when they asked, oh, I thought he was American, actually. Shakespeare was an American person. So he would respond from the back, say, well, America was not around yet when that was happening. So he was a very knowledgeable person, actually. As you can see, they didn't get much about them, but they got more about the, the actor's lady one and the older one. So they talked more about their life, I think, especially the lady officer was going through the life circle that she had it, where the homeless person who made a comment saying that, oh, I felt so sorry about her because it sounds like she has like, so much hatred in her that you know destroys her. Like, and that's why I think they didn't want to get too much about their background, just deal about that night, interaction there, and find out what happened, why he's out there, so all of that. So that's why they didn't get into it too much. Yes? Congratulations, it's a wonderful, wonderful project. And I wanted to ask you, what do you think is the most important lesson or take home message from the movie? Because it's amazing. Thank you so much. It's good to hear from you. Thank you. Comment. I think the message here is really about international issue of how to handle homeless people and homeless persons. Yeah. As I earlier mentioning, we live in the we live in America, right? It's the greatest country in the world. We walk outside, we see homeless people. So right? It's something not that easy to really resolve it. It's a big issue and the movie here, I mean the project here is trying to give that message to show that you know, and I could also say one more thing there, right? You see homeless person outside, right? It doesn't mean they used to, they were all, always homeless, right? They just maybe went actually homeless. So you might see very rich people, very famous people, very knowledgeable people, one day they're out the street. So it could happen to everyone. I think it's a homeless issue, and it's an issue that crosses the world internationally. The governments, right, the countries, municipalities and also people have to get together. Interesting part about the movie, right? They're officers, but none of them offering the guy, you know, let me take him home. Let me get him actually sleep in our house. And it's funny part, one of the actors is, he's just, he was a social guy, so he was keep posting on social media. And he hears people talking about it and he says, you know, everyone is writing something, but nobody's saying, you know, I want to give him home. So just bring him tonight to us. But there's a one guy close to Turkey on Eastern part says in that social media, you know, comment, says, you know, if he was here, I would have him sleep here with us and get food and relax here tonight. So it was interesting the comment he made about it.